your video. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another charity shop video as I'm sure you'll already be able to tell. And I'm actually really happy because it's a good charity shop video just before Christmas. So, you know, thank y'all. Basically, I have this big bag, including the bag of stuff. But, you know, I'm just gonna go through the little bits first. So makeup wise, I haven't been able to find like as much as I used to be able to in the charity shops. Oop. But I got these Eyelaw London eyelashes for 99p and obviously in the shops they range anywhere from about 4 to like £12 so for 99p to get these ones, these are the 125s and apparently there's glue in here as well and they're reusable so I got those and then I just picked these up because I have no idea how to use them or what exactly they are but these are Avon Super Shock Vivid Liquid Eyeshadows but I don't know if you'll be able to see how liquidy they are they are like you could actually pour it out and it would be a proper liquid can you just see the bubbles on the top of that but yeah they're really really liquidy and the applicator is just like a lipstick applicator so I really just want to play around with these or maybe give them to my sister and watch her play around with them so you've got one in the shade sparkling amethyst and the other one is a silver one that doesn't have a name on it these were 50p each and then I saw this giant lip pencil and I was like yeah okay I'm gonna have to get it so this is a wet and wild USA lip liner in the shade what shade is it berry red I think and the pencil is literally humongous I'm trying to find just another standard lip pencil or something but can't compare it. I have a makeup brush to compare it to so it's actually bigger than one of my eyeshadow brushes and again this was 50p I think it's just a really nice color to have especially with that blackberry lipstick I got from civilized cosmetics recently I'm probably gonna try and pair these two together since I said they'd probably look better with a lip liner. So I'm just gonna get that stuff out of the bag. So this bag cost me a pound and I got it because A, we didn't have enough like bags and stuff to carry all of our stuff and B, because it's like a Paco Rabanne 1 million aftershave bag. I'm not sure whether they did these in gift sets. I'm not even sure if it's like authentic. I just thought it looked nice. It's a nice bag. We can put all of our stuff in it. And yeah, it's got like the little one million on there. It says it on the bottom there. And then the only part that actually has any Paco Rabanne written on it is here. There's no like tag on the inside, so I'm still not 100% on this. But you know, as I said, it was a nice bag. It was only a pound. It's better than putting more plastic bags out there. Clothing. We got two clothing items. This one, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, why did I waste a pound of my money on this? But then I'm just like, oh, I did, didn't I? So it is this big Nike jumper, but it's for a team that obviously I do not support. So it's just a big grey jumper, Nike tick, and then you've got the Man United Football Club across the middle. On the sleeves, you've got Manchester United, but the sleeves are a bit like... I kind of just got this as an oversized baggy jumper to wear, you know, it was a quid, why not? I'm sure someone out there actually supports Man U and they're like, that's a really nice jumper, but the sleeves on both are a bit frayed and bleh, but you know, Nike jumper for a pound, I'm not complaining. And then from the same charity shop, so this was the Brainwave charity shop, I talk about Brainwave quite a lot, I just love it as a charity today actually. One of the Brainwave members of staff is supposed to be coming around to uh, collect some money off me that I <laughs> I owe them for charity bits, but I haven't got that yet. I, I kind of waited until I got those charity bits as well. But um, from their physical shop, I got this checkered shirt, this plaid shirt, and it's a Timberland shirt. So a pound for something Timberland, I'm definitely not going to complain. I mean, if I found some Timberland boots in a charity shop for a quid, you know... That would definitely be like a hundred times better. But a shirt is good enough for me. I obviously wear these in the summer over just like little vest tops with leggings. I just think they're so 
I don't know, nice to wear. It's just like loose, it's flowy, it's lightweight. And yeah, for Timberland, for a quid, couldn't say no. It's got it embroidered on the pocket as well. And I think that's like the only place. I mean, there'll be a tag. Oh no, you got, I've got a battery in my hand now. And then you've got the tag there. So those two were the only clothing items I got. There wasn't really a lot that I could see that I wanted towards Christmas. I'm kind of just saving my money for like the sales so I can actually get myself some new nice clothes. But you know, a shirt. I think every one of my charity shop hauls has included a shirt at some point. And now I'm moving on to two little gaming related pieces. Bobby picked this up. So it's a retro mini TV games. No idea, it was a quid. So I think the idea of this is it's just like some sort of plug and play, but he liked the look of it, so we grabbed it. And there's, for some reason, a sticker. And then this tiny, tiny little game thing. So you've got two, three, four buttons on here, and then a tiny little joystick which doesn't even seem to really move left and right, it just goes up and down. But yeah, we're gonna play around with this at some point, see if it actually works, if there's any good games on it, because on the back it doesn't really say anything apart from featuring 200 fun games, and then the pictures on the back, I don't actually recognize any of those games at all, so I have no idea. Does it say in here? What games do we get? Moving on to the last thing, which is probably my favorite thing that we got. It's a Simpsons donut. No, you know, it's a 20Q and I had a 20Q as a child. It was that round red thing that was just like bulky and you had to hold it. This is so much thinner. It is so much better. And I actually really love it just for what it is without even turning it on. So if you didn't know what a 20Q is, it's basically this little, device which has all these buttons on which you answer yes no maybe sometimes to the questions that it asks you and then it tries to obviously answer get your answer so it could be like you could be thinking of a color and it'll ask you questions like is it a person is it an animal and then you're like no it's a color it's, it's red and with this one you have to think of a simpsons character so you can see it's asking questions but um now it's going on to like 21 questions okay but yeah <laughs> so i got this little game thing and you know i probably am gonna sit here and play it for a while because i haven't yet this was 99p i'm pretty sure most of the stuff that i bought was either a pound or under which is really good for my charity shop hauls because obviously i try and spend as little money as possible try and get the best things as possible you know a wet and wild lip liner you're not going to find in the shops around here so i was really happy to just find that because obviously it's an american brand and as I said, the little Simpsons game, which is still playing about. But, um, yeah, guys, coming up to Christmas, there's going to be so much, like, Christmas stock in the charity shop. So it's going to be hard to actually find these really good items. But after Christmas, everyone gets new stuff. They throw out their old stuff. They donate their old stuff, which means the charity shops are going to become overrun with good quality stock. So I can't wait for January when everything just gets, like, refreshed. We can go out there grab some bargains but anyway guys i hope you did enjoy today's video i enjoyed going out and shopping you know women love to spend money if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to be you can click that subscribe button down there always you know have the notifications on because you never know if they're going to work maybe they don't maybe they do to make sure that they definitely do make sure you've got the two little things so imagine my head's the bell you've got the two little things up here if you've got one you're not going to get all the notifications you've got two then we're good Alright guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!